premiere of Fast and Furious 6 at Universal Studios, I promised the world that our franchise, our saga, would finally return home. Home where it all started, here in California. You'll see why. In the first film, Race War was much smaller. It's definitely underground. But seven movies later, with how big you know this universe has become, I think it's important that you show not only growth to the characters, but growth to the world that they live in as well. It's 14 years of history. I know that I'll probably never have a franchise that lasts so long, an entire generation or two of fans that genuinely appreciate what the franchise did. Go! I always kept in touch with Vin from part one, and so I know that they were battling for me to try to come back on. Hector. Yeah, what's up, man? It's a blessing, you know, to be back and have a character that was so remembered. I'm like, man, finally they brought Hector back. What's up? Yeah, 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 no, when the whistle go. Race Wars lets me showcase a really iconic race, beautiful girls, and the cool cars and a character arc, and I think that was very important. You get to that starting line. Are you ready? You just care about one thing. I know you're ready. So, what did you think of Vin Diesel in that video? Do you know everything about him? If not, listen up. His real name is Mark Sinclair Vincent. He changed it after he started bouncing at New York City clubs at age 17. As a teen, he appeared in an instructional breakdancing video called Breaking in the USA. He once worked as a telemarketer selling light bulbs. That's all for today. I'm Valerie and thanks for watching.